Hey, it's John Sifferman from johnsifferman.com, where I teach real-world strength training. And it is now the second day where we have not had power. We just had a pretty major storm come through the Granite State. Almost a third of the state got knocked out. So it's um, been two days without heat. It is 20 degrees outside and 41.8 degrees inside. That's a very, oh, nope, 41.6. You saw it here on the camera. That was going to be a optimistic 41.8 because it was almost 42 but now it's getting closer to 41 and uh, so it's pretty cold in here you might be able to see my breath in the camera um, so I guess the the theme of this video is how to stay warm and if you guys have been following along the blog I'm sure you can guess how I have been staying warm it's been nothing other than joint mobility exercise um, so I'm just going to take you through a quick circuit here and just work shoulders and, and down the spine a bit so you can follow along with me. Just going to do some shoulder rolls, some sh like shrug circles. So shrug them all the way around, trying to pinch your shoulder blades together in the back, all the way around in that circle and switch directions. <clears throat> it's kind of liberating having no power actually because there's all sorts of things that I literally cannot do. So I have time to do other things. All right, now we're going to do some upper spine circles, some thoracic circles. So inhale forward, come all the way around, and exhale towards the back. Inhale forward, exhale towards the back. This is super good for staying warm. I mean, you could do almost anything to stay warm as an exercise. I was doing some jumping jacks earlier with my wife. We can do body weight exercises, squats, and push-ups. Sorry, switch directions, I should have told you. Okay, now we'll do some big hip circles. So legs, almost locked. We're just gonna go around, kind of like a hula hoop. And we'll switch directions. The dog is loving this weather. The cat, not so much. <clears throat> All right, we'll do some pelvic circles, just like a hula dancer. Really important range of motion here to keep, keep you having healthy hips and a healthy lower back. Switch directions. Might be a very difficult range of motion for some people. This one will definitely get you some funny looks too, of course. Okay, now we'll do some full spinal circles. So bend forward at the, at the waist. And you're gonna come all the way to the side. So you're kind of doing like a, a side stretch here, but you're moving right through it, all the way to the other side and back down forward again. We'll do two more circles. And fold forward. All the way around <clears throat> and switch directions. One more big circle. Make it your best one. And come back up. We'll do one more exercise. It's the standing spinal twist or the Tai Chi or Qigong twist. You're going to twist to one side and your arms will remain loose. So this back arm will hit right up here above your kidney. This front arm right above your heart or well, at your shoulder. And just stand and twist. You can do these for three to five reps to get very good joint nutrition into your joints. I've heard of coaches going out all the way up to 100 reps on these. You know, just to really get yourself free to move. Okay, so that's just a quick little warm-up circuit. Um, you can do that as a warm-up for your strength training sessions. I'm doing it to stay warm, and because the more joint mobility you do, not necessarily the better, but if you can do it once a day, that is fantastic for your health, for your joints, and for your strength training goals, and especially to stay warm when your home is only 41.6 degrees and you can see your breath. So this is John Sifferman from johnsifferman.com. Be strong, be well. I think we're going to go to a hotel and take a shower because it's been a little too long for that. So we'll see you next time.